the firm in question responding to some questions from News 5 tonight. News 5's Laura Wilson in studio with more tonight. Sounds like they're still searching for some answers here. Yeah, definitely some lingering questions, but here's what we were told today through a statement from Dan Kennedy, who is the president of Kennedy Enterprises LLC. He says he looked into the inquiry about a month ago when the Stapleton campaign came to him asking questions about a quote particular situation. He says a subcontractor researched it and reported information to the Stapleton campaign and Colorado Secretary of State that Kennedy believed was true at the time. But two days ago, when presented with new information from the Stapleton campaign, Kennedy says he asked the same subcontractor to look into things again, and this time was told he'd previously been misled. Kennedy says he immediately reported that new information to the Stapleton campaign. Now, we had some follow-up questions regarding the details of this particular situation and how exactly Kennedy had been misled, as well as the general process in selecting people to circulate these petitions. Now, Kennedy Enterprises LLC has two listed addresses here in Colorado Springs. Uh, those are listed online. The first is here. It's at 538 Garden of the Gods Road, Suite 200. Now, if we click on that, we're showing you an image of where that building should be. The problem was the address didn't match up with any of these buildings and neighboring businesses hadn't heard of them. So we decided to go to the next listed address. That's at 4465 North Park Drive, but ran into another problem here. This is the list inside the lobby of all of the suites. Same issue, not listed on any of these. And when I spoke with people on different floors, they had never heard of the LLC either. So we of course reached out to Kennedy about doing an in-person interview as well as trying to figure out where his business is, but those specific requests went unanswered today. We'll continue to press for answers on this and bring you any new information. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Laura Wilson, News 5. Laura, thank